This is a headless nail, well almost headless. If we use the hammer to fully insert it, sure we will leave some marks on the wood. But the trick is, if we leave out a small part of the nail, now carefully using a nail as a nail punch, we finish inserting the headless nail. Or we can even insert the head of the nail inside the wood. But it is better if we use a real nail punch. And if we insert the head of the nails inside the wood, now we can use some wood filler to hide the nails. Sometimes we have to nail two pieces of wood together. And a long part of the nails protrude the other side. A simple woodworking trick is to bend the tip of the nails like this. And now I hammer them against the wood. Like this we can insert the tip of the nails in the wood. So now this nail won't move up and it won't hook anything. The tip of the nails is something like a small metallic wedge that tries to separate the wood fibers. That helps to insert the nail, but it can cause a lot of strength against the wood fibers. And that can split the wood. One woodworking trick that works quite well is to cut half the tip of the nail. I have already shown this trick in my Instagram. Link in the description. And now, if I put the cut line perpendicular to the wood fibers, the nail will squash the wood fibers instead of separating them. Now let's see a well-known woodworking trick. If I insert here this nail, now I have here a metallic surface. So I can put the head of this nail on this metallic surface and I can use a hammer to slightly flatten the tip of the nail. Now the trick is that the tip of the nail will squash the wood fibers. So it will cause less pressure against the fibers. And it will be less likely to split the wood. And if the wood keeps breaking, we can drill some guide holes before inserting the nails. Something we have to avoid is to align the nails in the same fiber direction. But it is nice to watch how sometimes the split follows the fiber shapes. Now I want to nail one piece of wood on another one. I could insert the nails like this. But if I insert them at an angle, they will hold the pieces better. And it will be more difficult that the nails get loose with time. This seems to be an easy woodworking trick. But like this, everything moves a lot, and it can be difficult to insert the nails. If at least we can clamp the bottom piece, now it is easier to insert the nails. We can also insert the nails until the tip protrudes the other face of the first workpiece. And now they bite the wood, so it is easier to keep inserting the nails. Well, okay, if they bend, I will bend them. To hold the workpieces harder, we can also use 
this kind of nails. These are the kind of nails we can find when we dismantle a pallet. Well, I can see some wood in the nail, but it was easier to remove than expected. Maybe the annular rings are now a bit flat and not very effective. After removing the nail from one pallet and then using it again. Now I have to remove this small nail, but let's suppose that I don't have an appropriate carpenter's hammer. But I can bite the nails with the pliers, there is no need to bite it hard. I put here this wooden sheet for better leverage. So now if I turn the pliers sideways, I can remove the nail. The wooden sheet trick also helps to avoid making marks on the workpiece. Some nails are stuck very hard in the wooden piece, but sometimes with some sharp heat against the handle of the hammer, we can remove those nails. But we have to be careful so we don't hurt ourselves. Now another carpenter's trick about how to remove this stuck nail. Now another carpenter's trick about how to remove a stuck nail. If I put a wooden block under the head of the hammer, it helps for better leverage. If needed, I can put another block on the first one, or I can put a bigger one. Also, sometimes some nails bend a lot, and it is impossible to insert them in the wooden piece. But if I use the pliers to hold them hard near the head of the nail, this helps a lot. Now another carpenter's trick for better leverage when removing a stuck nail. I will put the carpenter's hammer sideways. This is the usual position to remove a nail. But I will put the hammer like this. This way it is easier to remove a stuck nail. But this way we bend the head of the nail in such a way that we will hardly be able to reuse it. Sometimes we have to remove a twisted nail, and even if we straighten it, we know it will bend once and again. But if we use the pliers to hold hard the tip of the nail, now we can hit the tip of the nail, so we can remove the nail. But if we have a very rusty nail, maybe it is not worth the effort to remove it in one piece. So we can cut it. So now I can hit it. And I can use the carpenter's hammer in the other side of the wood to remove the nail. Let's see how easy it is to insert this big nail. A carpenter's trick is to rub the nail with soap. So it should be easier to insert this big nail. Well, not sure, but I think it was a little easier to insert it. One of my favorite tricks is to insert the tip of some headless nails in some small boards. And now I can put on the nails any workpiece that I want to paint, and I don't have to wait until the paint dries. I can turn the workpiece, and I can paint the other side. Some of you have commented to insert the nails completely 
so all the length of the nails protrude the other side of the small boards. Like this I will put the workpiece on the tip of the nails, so they will leave a smaller mark on the paint surface. But I am afraid of them falling on the floor, and I could step on them. Or maybe I should use security shoes. Also, I can keep them like this. All in all, I prefer the first method. Now imagine that you have to bend down to insert a nail. It is always an outward position to do this task. Well, framing carpenters have a simple trick. They use a framing hammer. These framing hammers have a nail holder in the metallic head to hold the nails. It helps to start nails one-handed. And also to nail in some places above our heads, we have a nail holder in the top of the metallic head. It is that easy. But it is important we should use safety googles. Another trick. We can use screws to hang tools on the wall and we can also use nails. I like to use nails because I can give shape to the nails to fit the tool. Now one trick that I have used in one of my first videos some years ago. If I insert some nails in the edge of this board and I cut the heads, but I leave some millimeters protruding the edge, now I can use them as center points to make a double joint. If we don't have a nice fancy double in jig, this trick works quite well to make double joints. Well, not sure, but I think I showed about 20 woodworking tricks with nails in this video. You could also watch some of them in my Instagram and Facebook accounts. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. If you think this is an interesting video, don't forget to click like and share. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.